Hello, welcome to the new video from City Inc Express. Today we're going to be showing you how to load your ICC profile in Photoshop 2022 and we're on a Windows PC. So I'm going to open up a previous image and we're going to go into File, Print. Now you will select the, the default printer or the printer you're going to use. So for me it's the Epson C5210. Then I'm going to go into the print settings itself. So for the print settings you need to tell the printer not to use its own standard driver. So we're going to go into more options and into color correction. Into custom, advanced and select no color adjustment and then back to the main section here. So for me, for my profile, in the instructions I've received, it does tell me that I need to be selecting plain paper high quality, so I'm going to select that. Now these settings can, they can be different. It depends on your product, your supplier, and various other, other options. The ACC profile will have been built around these certain settings. So if these aren't right, and they're, or they're not the same, as the way the ICC was made, it's going to affect the end result. So for me, I know I need plain paper, high quality, and then I'm just going to press OK. But what I'm going to do at this point here, I'm going to save myself a preset so that next time I come in, I can just save, select what I need. So I'm going to click Add Remove Preset. So for me, I'm going to name this one. So let's just have a look. It's A4 plain paper and it's sub sub ink and I'm just going to click save close so actually when I come in here next time look cancel that file print into the print settings and then I can just select the preset that I had from last time and I know I haven't got to change anything just select that and I'm good to go Right, so for the next thing, you've told the printer not to use its profile. Now you need to tell the software which profile to use. So we're going to select Photoshop Manages Colors. I'm going to go into the ICC profile that I need, select it from the drop-down list. Sometimes this list can be quite long and you could be you might have to scroll all the way down to the bottom to find it. If it's not there in the list, there's a chance that it's not been installed. So I would just installed correctly, so I would just revisit that point and just double check that. So if the one I need is this one here and we recommend for Subink that it's perceptual. If if you if you haven't been told to adjust this in any of the instructions you've got, I would just leave it as it is. Uh, and that's it. You can then just press done and print and you're good to go. So let's just print this. And that's it, it's been sent to the printer. So as you can see, it's quite straightforward to do on Photoshop 2022. Thanks for watching.